In the last lecture, we assumed that the excess free electron concentration is equal to excess hole concentration. Basically, we assumed charge neutrality. But what if it is not the case? Suppose that we have an n-type semiconductor and we are somehow able to inject excess holes at one end of the semiconductor for a very small time. When excess holes are being injected at one end of the semiconductor, instantly we will have a concentration of excess holes and net positive charge density which is not balanced by concentration of excess free electrons. We will use three equations to find how fast charge neutrality is achieved. First is the Poisson equation which is Second is current density equation. And the third is continuity equation neglecting the effect of generation rate and recombination rate. We will write J in terms of electric field giving us but from the Poisson equation we have divergence of electric field to be equal to charge density rho v divided by epsilon naught therefore replacing divergence of electric field with rho divided by epsilon naught we will get solving this first order differential equation we will get charge density rho v to be equal to if we assume that at t is equal to 0 the excess hole concentration is del h Therefore, we will have charge density rho v at t is equal to 0 to be equal to charge on a hole q multiplied by excess hole concentration. We can modify the equation like this. This equation can also be written as here tr is the relaxation time which is equal to permittivity of the semiconductor divided by conductivity of the semiconductor relaxation time is the time taken by the charge concentration within the medium to drop to 1 upon e times of its initial value where e is the euler number which is basically the base of the natural logarithm function the definition is quite similar to diffusion length but not exactly the same. Diffusion length is the average distance charge carrier diffuses before recombining. However, numerically it is a distance at which the excess carrier concentration reduces to 1 upon e times of its value at the surface where the charge carriers are being injected. 